Uh, the workshop is made out of academic sessions and some practical sessions to learn how to better advocate for family policies. Today we will have great academic sessions starting with the Second World Summit on Social Development by advocate Marcin Karol Piechotsky. Please welcome our first speaker. Advocate, the floor is yours and let's give a warm welcome to Advocate. Franciszek, pleasure uh, for me to, to invite me for invitation. Thank you for me, uh, for, for this invitation. Um, uh, my name is Marcin Piechotsky. I'm an advocate, a member of Warsaw and Hamburg Bar. I'm a president of the European Law Section and vice president of Commercial Law Section of Warsaw Bar Association. The, this lecture is an uh, introduction to give you an idea about current developments uh, which, which, on the basis of which your organization may develop and have a fruitful future. Uh, as an introduction then, let's refer to the UN Resolution 70-1 adopted by the General Assembly on 25th September 2015, transforming our world, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. I take my pilot. Right. As an introduction, I would like to refer to the call for action to change our world. Let's make a short reading. 49. 70 years ago, an earlier generation of world leaders came together to create United Nations. From the ashes of war and division, they fashioned this organization and values of peace, dialogue, and international cooperation, which underpin it. The supreme embodiment of these values is the Charter of United Nations. Today, we are taking a decision of great historic significance. We resolve to build a better future for all people, including the millions who have been denied the chance to lead decent, dignified and rewarding lives and to achieve their full human potential. We can be the first generation to succeed in ending poverty, just as we may be the last to have a chance to saving the planet. The world will be a better place in 2030 if we succeed in our objectives. Then, next part. We, the peoples, are the celebrated opening words of Charter of the United Nations. If it is we, the peoples, who embarking today on the road 2030. Our journey, our journey will involve governments as well as parliaments. The United Nations system and other international institutions, local authorities, indigenous pe people, civil society, business, and the private sector, scientific and academic community, and all people. Millions have already engaged with and will own this agenda. It is an agenda of people, by the people, and for the people. And this, we believe, will ensure the success. Uh, this passus, just short comment, uh, refers to, look, very wide audience 
uh, of participants involved in this project, in this agenda, and the past and future summit, which will take place next year. The last passus. The future of humanity and our planet lies in our hands. It lies also in hands of today's young generation who will pass the torch to future generations. We've mapped the road of sustainable development. It will be for all of us to ensure the journey is successful and gains irreversible. On the basis of this call, the political, legal and social framework for social development may develop, and as I said, your organization as well. Few words on introduction. What's all about the second UN World Summit for Social Development? Have this goal, which I read, in mind. It's it. The UN uh, General Assembly uh, decided to convene this summit uh, in its resolution 78 slash. 261 with the aim of addressing gaps and recommitting the Copenhagen Declaration on, on, on Social Development, that's one legal document, and the program of action, uh, which you have a chance to, to, to read very important, which I have a chance to read the important passus previously, agreed at the first World Summit of Social Development 30 years ago, in 1995, and providing momentum towards implementing 2030 agenda. The second World Summit on Social Development, as I said, will bring together heads of state or government and other uh, participants uh, in Qatar in November 2025 one year to go. The government of Qatar will host the summit with the support of United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. What are the objectives of summit? Summit aims to adopt a concise, action-oriented political document, not le uh, with legal dimension, of course, with a social development approach that will galvanize implementation of 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, which I had a cha chance to read the important passages as an introduction to this lecture. Second, uh, to continue the permanent, uh, just to continue a few words, uh, how it is organized. The permanent representative of Belgium, Philippe Cridelka, and the per permanent representative of U to UN of Morocco, Omar Hilale, uh, were chosen uh, by United Nations to serve as a so-called co-facilitators of the summit. Uh, one uh, member state of developed country and one uh, one 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 uh, participant uh, one co-facilitator from non-developed country they will support the process including organizing discussions on the expected declaration with the aim of agreeing of the declaration in advance by consensus the summit will consist on opening and closing segment, plenary meetings, and two high-level roundtables. Uh, the first roundtable will focus on strengthening the three pillars of social development, poverty, eradication, that's very important, poverty, eradication, it's repeated many times, then full and productive employment, and decent work for all, and the last objective, social integration. The second round table 
during that, that summit will assess progress, gaps and challenges in implementing the commitments of the Copenhagen Declaration of Social Development and its program of action implementation of 2030 agenda. Just to comment, it's really more than Davos. It's even more than two times Davos. It's so crucial, you will see in a minute how, what, what, what may happen. Uh, generally, why was the need to call the Second World Summit? We had one and was the, 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 the result of, results of this were quite substantial. Why? Because the UN General Assembly decided to convene the summit in its resolution with the aim to address gaps and recommitting the Copenhagen Declaration on Social Development in 1995. I will talk about it in detail later. And to implement 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Uh, it's, it's, it's known that deep concern by United Nations and international com community was expressed that more than 25 years after the convening the World Summit uh, for Social Development in Denmark, in Copenhagen, progress has been slow and in an even major gaps still remain. Look, there are new developments during the recent 30 years. Let's say on inter alia digital and telecommunication revolution, COVID-19 pandemic, social uh, economic downturn of 2008, global warming, energy transformation, lapse of 30 years, uh, and further developments in, 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 in countries uh, which form international society. All of these uh, inter alia require its updated supplementation reconsideration. Oh, look, this was first World Summit for Social Development 1995 in Copenhagen, Denmark. You, you will see member of many states, it was most of member of, uh, of states at the level of presidents of prime ministers, you see uh, uh, Councillor Hel Helmut Kohl, you see Mitterrand, you see also Fidel Castro. So all, really all members were involved as a head of China and other, other countries from all uh, around the world. Uh, First World Summit for Social Development in Copenhagen was really historic summit. It was so huge uh, that it, 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 it considered the largest gathering of world leaders even assembled in the history. It was attended, as I said, by one it was it included delegates from 186 countries with 117 represented at the level of heads of states and government it gathered about more than 14000 people the summit uh, and governments present there pledged to make the conquest of poverty the goal of full employment and fostering of social integration, overriding objectives of development. At the conclusion of the summit, the government adopted a declaration and program of action 2030, which represent a new consensus on the need to put people at the center of development in order to advance social development through 10 commitments. Uh, let's have a look at the 10 commitments. It includes creating an enabling, an, an enabling environment, eradicating poverty, promoting full employment, promoting social inter integration, achieving equality and equity between men and women, 
allocating resources for social development, co uh, cooperating for social development, accelerating development in Africa and the least developed countries, accessing health, education, services, and so on. We should name also Copenhagen Declaration on Social Development as a one of the legal documents, legal, social, and political documents. Uh, in, this, in this Copenhagen Declaration, heads of states uh, uh, said that they are committed to political, economic, ethical, and spiritual vision of social development that is based on human dignity, human rights, equality, respect, peace, democracy, mutual responsibility and cooperation, and full respect of the various religious and ethical values and cultural backgrounds of the people. They gave a highest priority in national, regional, and international politics and actions through the promotion of social progress, justice, and the betterment of human conditions based of, on full participation by all. They cre uh, the framework for action was created. Inter alia, just want to underline. to reorganize the family as a basic and unit of society and acknowledge that it plays a key role in social development as such as should be strengthened with attention to the rights, capabilities and responsibilities of its members. In different cultural, political and social systems, various forms of family exist. It is entitled to receive comprehensive protection and support. There are many uh, terms. Uh, if you get this presentation, you can have a look, just don't want to prolong. As a, I would like to refer also to the commitments of Copenhagen Declaration on Social Development, which was the, the very important uh, constitutional, so to say, uh, document uh, ending the, the first, first, uh, first uh, UN World Summit for Social Development. It reads as follows. Our global drive for social development and the recommendations for actions contained in the Programme Action 2030 are made in the spirit of a consensus and international cooperation in full conformity with the purposes and principles of Charter of the United Nations, recognizing that the formulation and implementation of strategies, policies, programs and actions for social development are the responsibility of each country and should take into account the economic, social, environment, environmental diversity of conditions in each country with full respect for the various religious and ethical values, cultural backgrounds and philosophical convictions of, it, of its people and conformity with all human rights and fundamental freedoms. In this context, international cooperation is essential for full interpretation of social development program and actions. I will later uh, ha uh, please have it in your uh, memory because I will um, uh, later refer to the uh, un legal analysis, why, why it's it's written like that. Of course, the next document as a framework uh, uh, of uh, social development agenda is our sustainable development goals according to the 2030 agenda. We can, we know these ideas, but let's refer to some of them. And poverty in all its forms everywhere and hunger, achieve food security and improved nutrition and promote sustain, sustainable agriculture, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all the ages, 
ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities, and achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanita sanitation, ensure access to affordable, reliable uh, and sustainable and modern energy, build re resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster in innovation, reduce inequality within the among countries, make cities and human settlements in in inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable ensure sustainable consumption production patterns, conserve and sustainable use the oceans, seas and marine resources for sustainable development, promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. Actually, this is idea of whole United Nations. It's, 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 it's named in this document, but it's one, this is actually idea on which the United Nations organization is based and the further goals on the basis of this uh, are developed. And uh, to sum up, I would like to give some assessment. What are the political, legal, legal and social implications? As you see and observed, uh, the terms used by this legal documents are very general. Why they are general? Sometimes maybe it, will, it is difficult to follow, but this is the language of United Nations. Why? Look, we have so many countries with so many different cultures, jurisdictions, uh, different standards, different levels of development, and so on, so on, and different location. We need to use general terms to find the basis for understanding, mutual consensus, to build on that. Please remember that uh, uh, each summit ends with political declaration. I say political declaration. So it's, it has, it is, I will call it as a gateway to soft law to be prepared by United Nations uh, in form, let's say, of resolutions of later on. So let's say this is a summit, huge gathering. And later, uh, this is really this this is uh, the summit will end in political document, and uh, governments which sign this document has so-called moral obligations to follow uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the agenda agreed, but it's still not law. Once, uh, let's say, United Nations agrees to issue resolution, this is soft law on the basis of this political declaration. Soft law still, according to international law rules, are, is not binding, but it's, still, it's law, it's law. And what will happen? States, as a members of this international uh, organization, United Nations, have moral and political obligation to implement the soft law in the national legal orders. As I said previously, look, 25, 30 years uh, lapsed, and not, it, it was said not too much happened or it's still not efficient. So let's meet again, work, because uh, we don't have too much time. We don't have too much time to work on that. May, uh, so, 
what are the issues com to consider uh, during that summit? I will read uh, or summarize. Despite the progress made in recent decades in terms of eradicating poverty, this is crucial ter 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 terminology, and reducing multidimensional inequalities, global scenario compels us to review strategies, reaffirm commitments, and mobilize resources with multilateral and cooperative actions in a context of multiple, multiple overlapping crises. We, uh, having in mind what will happen and will be discussed next year, we should, we should, we should take into consideration the such issues like there are nearly, nearly four billion more people. There is an increase in geopolitical tensions, growing, growing geoeconomic fragmentation, wars again wars, intensification of effects of climate change, energy transformation, democratic, demographic changes, te technological, technological disruption, artificial intelligence development, threat of pandemics, wars, again, wars and conflicts, uh, changes in international financial architecture, uh, all these issues need to be discussed. Maybe more will come. It's open catalog of issues which will be raised and discussed during the summit. Hopefully, the new the, the recommendations will be developed during that time and goals of next summit will be maybe achieved in, in short term, not long term basis. Uh, I would like to thank you for, for, for your consideration and please note these general terms are necessary uh, to, to achieve this understanding. Sometimes it might be in, in its concentration that they will be to, 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 for people to, to be followed, but they are basis for uh, future cooperation. Thank you. Thank you, Advocate, uh, for this uh, enlightening speech and uh, impassioned speech about the United Nations World Summit <clears throat> for Social Development. Now, uh, of course, it uh, helps us see the importance of this workshop and the results of this workshop and the World Summit next year, which will happen. Let's give us another round of applause for Advocate Marcin Piotrowski.